Hi, my name is Elise Lewis, and I'm delighted to read to you today a book titled At the Library by Heather Alexander and illustrated by Epek Konak. Let's dive right in. A library is a place filled with stories and information. There's probably a library in or near your town. Have you ever been to a library? Shine a flashlight behind the page or hold it up to the light to see what's happening at the library. Discover a world of great surprises. A library is a place that helps you to learn. Inside the library, there are a lot of books. Libraries are free and everyone is welcome. A man is reading the paper. Who else is using the library today? A boy is studying for a test. A mother is reading to her baby. They are all enjoying the library. If you were in a library and you had a question, whom would you ask? The librarian. Librarians know all about the library and will help you find a good book or the information you need. Whom is this librarian helping? An avid reader. He wants to take some books home. He hands over his library card so that the librarian can scan the books and check them out for him. This library has several rules. No food or drinks, no writing or coloring in the books, and don't make a mess. There's one more very important rule. What is it? No loud talking or making noise. Visitors to the library should be quiet and respectful. Many people use the library to study or do work. Shh. In libraries, Fiction books are organized alphabetically by the author's last name. Non-fiction books are numbered and are part of the Dewey Decimal Classification System. Do you know the difference between non-fiction and fiction? Fiction is made up. It comes from the author's imagination. Non-fiction is information that is true. It can be about people's lives or an event that really happened. You can have a lot of fun at the library. It's not always a quiet place. Sometimes libraries have special shows. What's behind the curtain? Puppets are behind the curtain. Snap. These children are watching a puppet show. It's story time at the library and one girl has brought a special friend. He's quiet, very soft, and loves bedtime stories. Who is he? Her teddy bear. Some libraries have special areas just for children with comfortable seats, cushions, and toys. Children can play with the library toys or bring their own along. There's a long line of people waiting in this library. What are they waiting for? They're waiting to have their own books signed by the author. Some libraries organize book signings. Authors sign the books and often read a few pages for their fans. In a library, you borrow books and return them a little while later. Some libraries have self-checkout machines for borrowers to use. How does this girl use the machine and how many books is she borrowing? She is borrowing two books today. She uses the scanner to scan her card, then she scans her books. At the end, a receipt is printed out that tells her when to bring back her books. Now she can enjoy them. The girl comes back to the library one week later. She drops her books in the return slot in the wall. Where did the books go? All the books 
land in bins, like this one. Swoosh. Later, a librarian or a library helper will put them back on the shelves. Life is full of questions, but where can you go for answers? A library is the perfect place. It can help you learn all sorts of things. What is this boy looking at? The world. There are globes, computers, dictionaries, atlases, newspapers, and much more in a library. Do you know which animal has the largest eyes? Or how many bones there are in the human body? These children are using the library computers to find the answers. Do you know what they are? The giant squid has the largest eyes. The adult human body has 206 bones. This library has brought in a surprise guest. The children will be able to read to him after story time, but he seems to be hiding. Can you spot him? There he is, under the rug. Some libraries bring in dogs like this one to encourage children to read out loud and build their confidence. Woof! What if a family lives very far away from a library? Some libraries have a special truck called a bookmobile, which can be driven to these places. Can you see what's inside? There are toys, movies, and lots and lots of books, of course. The Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. is the largest library in the world. It has a whopping 838 miles of bookshelves. This library has some very special items and collections. What do you think these children are looking at? They are looking at two of the Library of Congress's special items. The palm print of Amelia Earhart. She was the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. Thomas Jefferson's vanilla ice cream recipe. He was the third president of the United States. Not all libraries are big. A family has built a small wooden box and placed it outside their house. What will this boy find inside? There are books inside the box. Take a book, leave a book is how it works. When you take a book, you're asked to leave one of your own. So there's always a book for the next person to read. This book is almost done. What will you read next? A fiction book? Or how about a book about planes and trains? Visit the library and find more great books. The end. I encourage you to go to your library, find a book of fiction or nonfiction, bring a toy, or find one of your own. Or maybe find out if there's a local bookmobile or a small little book cubby somewhere in your neighborhood nearby. There's always a way to find a place to go and read, to continue to learn. Keep doing it, keep growing.